Netflix Sea Spy to Sea will change the way you look at seafood. Here are six eye-opening lessons from the documentary. Bycatch fish and other marine species that are unintentionally caught when trying to catch another type of fish is one major issue highlighted by the film. 40% of global fishing catch is unused, wasted or not accounted for. Often, bycatch is thrown back into the sea. And while this may sound positive, these fish are unlikely to survive due to lack of oxygen or trauma. Shocking statistics shown in the film suggest that 50 million sharks are caught annually as bycatch, while up to 10,000 dolphins are caught off the Atlantic coast of France every year alone as bycatch. While eating sustainably caught fish seems like the right thing to do, the Dolphin Safe and the Marine Stewardship Council labelled might not be able to provide the assurance that customers are looking for. There is no guarantee that every can of fish labelled Dolphin Safe is actually Dolphin Safe. Fish that have been farmed are often considered more eco-friendly than wild fishing, as they are not being taken from the wild population. But what you might not know is that some species of farmed fish are fed wild-caught fish. Not only that, but farmed salmon would actually be grey if it wasn't fed a chemical in its food that gives it its famous pink colour. Millions of salmon are dying on salmon farms every year from diseases such as anemia and heart diseases. We all know the damaging impact that single-use plastic has on our oceans. But did you know that only an estimated 0.03% of plastic pollution waste comes from straws? Although rarely discussed, fishing nets and equipment actually make up for a significant amount of the plastic pollution in our oceans, including 46% of the so-called Great Pacific Garbage Patch in the North Pacific Ocean. It goes without saying that this is hugely damaging to sea life, which can easily get tangled up in the fishing nets. There have been horrifying reports of slave labour being used in Thailand to catch shrimp and prawns in the ocean. One former fisherman interviewed in the documentary described how he was abused and threatened at gunpoint, alleging that the dead bodies of others who were killed were kept in freezers on board on their ships. All of this plus the jaw-dropping estimate that we are now catching up to 2.7 trillion fish a year. The equivalent to 5 million fish every minute means that we need to seriously consider our consumption of fish and other seafood. Less than 1% of our global oceans are protected from commercial fishing. It is not possible to continue consuming fish both from an ethical and environmental perspective.